Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Okay.
Huh? What happened? Ha ha. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Plague Burst Crawler. Plague Burst Crawlers are a Nurgle heavy demon engine used by the Death Guard. The designs for the first Plague Burst Crawlers were created by Mortar Ion as an act of stubbornness. The Death Lord sought to create a mobile artillery that could outclass any comparable Imperial weapon, and thus demonstrate the Death Guard's superiority over their older kin. For months he locked himself away in the toxic smog-filled towers of the Black Mance on the Plague Planet, obsessing over his foul brainchild pouring all his superior intellect into the challenge. The resulting demon engines reflect the values of their creators well. Plague Burst Crawlers are formidable tanks with massive blades, thick armor, and demonic energies that grant them incredible resilience. Their fearsome Plague Burst Mortars have a parabolic arc and a terrifying range. While the shells they fire combine explosives with clouds of deadly corrosive spores to deal damage comparable to the Imperial Demolisher cannons. The drawback to this weapon is its inability to engage targets closer than its minimum range. However, the rest of the crawler's armament is intended to slaughter enemies who come close, spraying slime and microscopic bullets at anyone who approaches. It takes great effort to bind a demon within each plate burst crawler. 
Once installed, the possessing entities tirelessly obey their master and, by extension, the will of mortar ion. Plate burst crawlers are not fast vehicles, even at full power. However, their progress is as honed and relentless as the Death Guard themselves, intended to support infantry assaults. Plague burst crawlers plow forward like giant slugs, their mortars firing at regular intervals. An area subjected to constant bombardment from these weapons becomes saturated with spore clouds, demonic spores that can corrode the thickest adamantium plating. These hideous effects have made the plate burst crawlers a weapon of war much loathed by many. Forwarded Bloat Drone Forwarded Bloat Drone is a demon engine of Nurgle used by the Death Guard in the closing days of the 41st millennium. This floating engine hunts its prey with its sinister intelligence. Believed to be an alternate version of the ancient Volterrax Stratos Automata, these foul machines are created on demon worlds ruled by Nurgle. Despite the costly sacrifices and extremely dangerous binding rituals used in their creation, bloat drones have long been favored by the Chaos Lords of the Death Guard, deploying them in swarms that darken the skies. This is especially true among the forces of the Fifth Plague Company, with war bands such as the Sons of the Maggot, Suppurant Sting, and the Smogrop Brotherhood fielding numerous folded bloat drones of varying strength and appearance. The demons associated with folded bloat drones are more aggressive and vicious than most of Nurgle's demons. Some are even so warlike that they charge into enemy lines themselves. These folded bloat drones are equipped with grisly devices called flesh mowers, which can tear apart captured enemies at close range. The crushed remains of their victims make excellent fuel for forwarded bloat drones equipped with plague spitters or heavy blight launchers. And as such, these two variants often form parasitic war squads. Bali and Sagriba. Bali was the monkey king of Kishkinda, the son of Indra, his younger brother, was Sagriva. The kingdom had a sworn enemy called Mayavi. Tired of its attacks, Bali decided to settle the score. When Bali and Mayavi entered a cave during their fight, Sagriva was ordered to keep a watch outside till Bali emerged. Time passed and sounds of the roaring fight wafted to Sagriva's ears. After nearly a year's wait, when neither Bali nor the Rakshasa demon came out, Sagriva thought they had both been killed. Saddened by his brother's death, he went back to Kishkinda and became its ruler and made Tara, Bali's wife, his queen. However, Bali returned and seeing Sagreva as king, Bali thought he had been betrayed. Though Sagreva tried to explain the misunderstanding, Bali attacked and forced him and his team of monkeys to flee Kishkinda. Bali regained his kingship but became an enemy of Sagreva forever. Gajanana. Kubera, the god of wealth, once went to heaven where he met Shiva and Parvati. Parvati was so beautiful that Kubera kept looking at her. This made her very angry. Seeing Parvati angry, Kubera became fearful. From his fear emerged a demon called Lapasura who went to the kingdom of demons. There he performed a long tapasya. Pleased, Shiva gave him the boon of fearlessness. After becoming fearless, Lapasura conquered the three worlds. He also went to Mount Kailash, the home of Shiva, and threatened to conquer it. Shiva remembered the boon that he had given Lapasura and left Kailash on his own. Tormented by the cruelty of Lapasura, the gods went to sage Rabhia, who advised them to worship Gainsha. When the gods prayed to him, Gainsha appeared in his Gajanana form. Shiva went to Lapasura and described the strength of Gajanana. Lapasura became fearful and admitted defeat.
Kaband meets Rama. In the forest, Rama and Laxmana saw a ferocious demon. His name was Kabandha. The hungry demon caught hold of them and was about to eat them when the brothers fired arrows and cut off his arms. As Kabandha lay bleeding, he asked them about their identity. When Rama and Laxmana introduced themselves, Kabandha bowed in reverence and told them his story. He said that Brahma had cursed him to change into a demon for his misdeeds, and only if Rama killed him could he get back his earlier form. Kaband had then begged Rama to end his life. As his body burnt to ashes, a beautiful figure emerged from it. After changing into a Gandharva, Kabandha advised Rama to seek Sagriva's help and recover Sita. Arjuna and Angarparna, when they were in hiding, the Pandavas came to the river Ganga one night. A warrior came riding in his chariot and shouted, I am Angarparna, a heavenly being. This part of the forest belongs to me. You can't cross the river here. Arjuna said, sacred river Ganga is nobody's property. Angry Angarparna roared, you have no idea how strong I am. Now Arjuna was also angry, he said, you have never fought with a true warrior, I challenge you to a fight. Hearing this, Angarparna attacked Arjuna with his sword. Arjuna escaped his blow and threw at him the burning mashal torch that he held. It landed on Angarparna chariot and burnt it down. Angarparna jumped out of his chariot and fainted. When Angarparna came to his senses, he begged for forgiveness. Forgiven by the Pandavas, he presented them with Chakshashi, the divine sight by which they could see anything at any place and at any time. <laughs>